Today I just wanted to quickly demonstrate how to flash an NRF52 device, particularly a RAC4631 uh, development board via the Nordic Semiconductor NRF Connect app. The convenient uh, piece about that application is there are actually many different platform variants of it. Uh, you can find you can find desktop versions as well as uh, iOS and Android clients. So um, there's a variety of ways to actually uh, flash those devices. Um, and there's a lot of neat utilities within the application as well for um, Bluetooth device debugging. So we're going to start by clicking on the NRF Connect app and pulling down to refresh on the scanner page. Your node should show up here. Um, if we just connect to it and go to the DFU option on the upper menu and select the appropriate file. So in this case, I'm doing an OTA flash of a RAC 4631 uh, Meshtastic starter kit. So we're going to choose that option from the firmware release artifacts. Uh, it will actually be a .zip file um, that says oh, firmware, the, the release version, and OTA.zip. So that's how you'll know um, the difference between that and any other artifacts in there relating to that particular target. Um, the .uf2 files are specifically for um, file system flashing with the double click reset button DFU mode. So there's a distinction there, but um, the zip file is specifically for uh, flashing over the air. Once our OTA flash is successful, you'll see this DFU screen. Now we can go ahead and pop over to the Meshtastic app. Our device is rebooting now with the new firmware, so it'll pop up here. We can connect to it again. Uh, you'll notice it says Ada DFU. That's um, just a part of the process because we use the uh, Bluefruit um, Bluetooth library for NRF52 devices. So to, to get rid of that sort of um, display quirk from freshly flashed uh, OTA devices, we can go ahead and just reboot our node. And that's it.